Shalom, brothers and sisters. LA Times says, quiet part out loud. Would an occasional blackout help solve climate change? We might not have a choice. Instead of air conditioning running in your home during heat waves, they suggest investing in a wider network of cooling centers with transportation to help people get there instead. Sammy Ross, LA Times staff writer, says, What's more important, keeping the lights on 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, or solving the climate crisis? And there they begin. So a cooling network with centers, you have to drive there and go and get cool. That really sounds like control set up in a 15-minute city. You want to get cool? You're suffering from the heat and the scorching sun and everything? You need to go to the cooling center. You want to go to the cooling center? You have to have the right credit, social credit. And if you've done anything to upset anyone higher up in the last month, sorry, buddy, you're going to have to sweat this one out. This is the world they're building. And on top of that, they've already had a few articles where there's been warnings because the grid is under pressure. They're preparing you, like I've been saying all along, for load shedding and grid collapse coming to a neighborhood near you soon. Various countries in the world are testing various things for the new world order, from the microchip to euthanasia to lockdowns to you name it. New laws, hate speech, the whole lot. South Africa is testing load shedding and grid collapse because we're good at breaking things, apparently, and destroying them and then controlling the population through that and just exercising that. And they've done that really well. And by chasing it this year and really making it insane, they've actually achieved their climate goal commitment two or three years ahead of schedule, which I can guarantee you they are going to use as a good example of why they should have rolling blackouts everywhere. Because look at South Africa, they've achieved their goal. They won't tell you about all the businesses that closed down, the families that were destroyed, the people that are below the poverty line and going to the streets, the chaos in this country and the absolute stress levels everywhere. They won't tell you about that. They'll tell you we achieved our climate goals because it's not about mankind. It's not about people. It's about the beast system and the very, very few in charge building the world for the Antichrist that's lying ahead. So brace yourselves. They're just chatting about it openly now, but they are warning you straight up. And that little reference to the climate crisis, right, and climate change, they're going to bring South Africa into it next with how we achieved our goals, and then they're going to roll this out everywhere. Hopefully most of you won't experience this because we'll be gone by then. But if not, I've got lots of tips for you on load shedding. Us from South Africa can make a video and give you lots of ways you can try and just make life a little bit more bearable when these things happen. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.